it's martini time. I apologize for being late, but I was at uh, Costco and we were doing some shopping and uh, I was really anxious to get back here. And I don't know whether it was to uh, talk to you or to <laughs> my martini. So, this is the second. Uh, when, when I got home, we came to the back porch. This beautiful uh, antique clock, well it's not an antique, but it uh, looks like an antique uh, clock, uh, was waiting on the back porch. We have no idea who dropped it off. Uh, however, I always uh, uh, see correspondence in my world because I've been thinking about time all day. <laughs> And uh, so here we are. We have a clock when I get here. And I, one of my favorite pictures is uh, Harold Lloyd hanging from a clock. Uh, when I took my mother to see Avatar a few years ago when she was 100 years old, and uh, uh, she saw through the 3D movie, and I said, what do you think, Mom? She said, well, it was very nice, but I don't know. Where did they get all those tall blue actors from? So as, as we were going out, uh, we stopped by the ticket, uh, the guy taking tickets, and I told her that my mother was 100, and, and this was, uh, um, she just saw this 3D avatar, and my mother said, well, the first movie I remember was Harold Lloyd hanging from a clock. So uh, we're all hanging from time, and, we'll, and I like to talk about that, because <laughs> we are, really. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was something, was what I uh, got inspired by yesterday on Facebook. Now, this, this, this martini time uh, is a, mm, I remember Jackie Gleason, <laughs> that was how, how sweet it is. Oh, okay, so uh, what, what I'm doing with this talk and sharing with you is what inspires me on Facebook during the day. Now you may think, my God, <laughs> is he getting inspired by Facebook? Well, what I, if you follow my writings, what I get inspired by are... Uh, these little uh, YouTube videos of uh, cats or hornets or whatever, movies or anything, but they just, uh, they pop up and I see them metaphorically. I see them metaphorically, which means that uh, basically a metaphor, take this for instance, you can, I can make a metaphor out of this. Now if I say, uh, I am time, I am a clock. Well, that, that can, that's a metaphor. A clock would be a metaphor. And I would say that a metaphor is two opposite things combined in one image. So the clock then is a metaphor. And I would activate the metaphor if I said, or you said to me, or I say to myself, I'm a clock. I am not a clock. You see, so those are two opposite things. I am a clock, but obviously I'm not a clock. But I am a clock. If I substitute the clock and say time, then I would say uh, I am time. Obviously I'm not time, because I have time. I don't have a lot, but you see what I mean? I can, I can uh, go catch a bus. Uh, there's time out there, but then I am time. So a metaphor basically brings two uh, opposite opposites together uh, and puts them in one image or word, okay? So anyway, yesterday I was inspired by, and I wrote on it, uh, this, this little clip on Helen Keller. Uh, this one was about her, it was, a, it was a documentary, a little news clip where Helen Keller, now grown up, was sitting next to her uh, teacher and Helen Keller talked to the te listened to the teacher by putting the, her hand with the, with the thumb here to feel the vocal cords and a finger here uh, to feel the lips and a finger here to feel the nasal sound. So she could get ohm here. The, she could get the three areas, or oh, the, the, the throat, uh, the, the breath, the lips, and the nasal. So she could hear with her hand. And just remember, Helen Keller was, bo was not born this way. I think she had some disease. I don't know what it was. But she lost her sight and her hearing. So she only had taste, 
smell and touch. Okay? She was absolutely alone, yet aware. Now that, that's like being uh, buried alive. Buried alive. But she was born that way. So, so she was trapped. She was, she was aware. But she didn't know anything. I mean, she had no outside connection. So the story was, uh, in, in the movie, that was a very dramatic moment, there was a, uh, uh, a faucet in the yard, and her teacher put her hand in the water, and in the other hand she wrote water. Water, water. Word, water. Word, water. She went over and over and over. And Helen Keller later then, as she learned how to write and speak, uh, said it was a light going off. It was the Big Bang. Bam! A light went off and the discovery of the Word. Just think about this. This was right there was the same discovery of the Word that the first human being in some swamp or some pl in the Serenity Plains or something discovered the Word or the, or the, 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 the put the two together and made a word. Water, the symbol, boom, the light. Pow, you see. And off of that, Helen was able to build language and communicate and discover relationship because if we don't have relationship, we're like in solitary confinement or we're like Helen Keller uh, in the dark, buried in a coffin, you see. Which is, you know, in my, like of our movies, I remember, remember uh, uh, Kill Bill. Uh, the, our hero was buried in a coffin. You know, that's like the ultimate terror uh, to suddenly wake up and find yourself in a coffin. Well, uh, that we can relate that to Helen Keller. Uh, so we are talking about the meaning of a metaphor and how it can awaken the mind. So I really kind of like, uh, as I was coming up, I was coming home this afternoon in the car and I was thinking about this. And that's the way I feel with you. Uh, in the sense that I see metaphors. Remember the sixth sense? Uh, I see dead people. Well, I see metaphors. Uh, and metaphors are connecting the dots between this and that to make a light go on. Bam, I see. Where before, it was just this, and it was that only, and it was this and that, but then when you put this and that together, and you... Now, the, here's, the, here's the trick, what has taken me a long time to discover this. Uh, a metaphor uh, is either dead or alive. If it's, it's dead, if somebody else is using it. So if I said, uh, you're, a, you're a lion in the classroom. Uh, well, that's a dead metaphor because uh, uh, it, it's already known. Or uh, anything that's, uh, poetry is full of metaphors, but anything that's already been used is already known. The, the metaphor that uh, I'm interested in is the discovery. So when I, when I saw Helen Keller, a light went off because there was Helen Keller and there was me. So I just, the Helen Keller as a metaphor made me aware of my original word, made me aware of, of, uh, of the light of a single idea that explains everything when it goes off. You see, whenever we're in a fix, whenever we're in a labyrinth or a confusion, whenever we are in doubt, whenever we are lost, whenever we are uh, wandering, wherever we are that we feel off-center or lost, when we find ourselves, it's because we discover a single idea, a single idea is born, that puts everything in place. We, this is so common that we don't really notice it. Uh, suppose you are, uh, I remember the first time this happened to me. I was a little kid and my mother let me go to the movie by myself. And I went to the movie and she, I was supposed to go catch a bus and go home. And it was all in place, I knew exactly what to do. And I went to the movie. I was so into the movie, I have no idea what it was. But when I came out, I had no idea who, where I was, who I was. Oh, I could have been on Mars. I had no idea. I had amnesia. I had 
Alzheimer's uh, because uh, I had uh, uh, forgotten my map of reality when I was in the movie and there was a moment, and we all experience this, when you suddenly get totally in the now and you come out, it takes a few minutes for the world to go, <laughs> you see, and come back into place. Oh, I know who I am and what I'm supposed to do and there's the bus and yada yada and we go on, you see. Uh, but we all experience these moments uh, of Helen Keller where we have we have we we're we're in a in a in a suspended moment where we don't know anything you see and then suddenly an idea come you know uh, the the mind comes back well what we what I'm trying to articulate is that uh, discovery through connecting dots makes a light go off that is like the light that went off in Helen Keller's brain when she discovered the word. That was her original word. And if you, th and if you want to understand, to, for me, to understand the Bible, that is the meaning of the original word. It's not something that happened back in, the gar in some mythical story or the Garden of Eden. It has to happen now. It has to happen now, you see. So we're all looking for our word. Remember the king's speech? He was looking for his voice. He was looking for the word. The word is when an idea is born. It's not a thought, because thought is relevant to memory and what I know, but an idea is the word that, that makes me real and orientates me in the now, and I know where I am, and I know what to do, and I know where to go, you see. So that's our little uh, sharing today for It's Martini Time. And uh, you can make comments on this, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, we'll, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe at 5 o'clock, and maybe not, maybe later. We'll see. But I do have the time. <laughs>